What is happening, guys? Trader Cause here. And this is another, um, <clears throat> I guess we'll call it a crypto TA video update. Um, whatever we want to call it. I still uh, haven't thought of a name yet. But just a normal update video. Do some analysis on Bitcoin, Ethereum. Probably look at Litecoin, too. Um, and, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So... It is getting close to Christmas, getting close to the holidays. We got Christmas and New Year's. I probably won't be trading as much as usual around these holidays. I think liquidity could be a little bit low, and that could lead to some crazy price action. So I just don't really want to um, be exposed to that too much. Um, but <clears throat> here's our Bitcoin range that we've been working with. This is the long I posted about a couple days ago, I guess yesterday. Um, I ended up closing most of it a bit early. Um, I still had one entry from 22,260, right around there open. Um, but the majority of my size I took off probably around here because, uh, because I'm an idiot. So, I mean, in hindsight, that... Uh, that was kind of a very dumb move. Um, left a little bit of it open, took most of the size off. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it happens. I should have added back on after this sweep right here, um, but I didn't, and we'll move on. So now we're at the range high. Weekly opens right here. We've been rejected by the range high, I would say, four times. I mean, that's how I would count it. One, two, three, now four. Um... I, whoa, what's this highlighter? Very cool. Um, maybe I got to start using that. Um, I would probably look for a break in structure like that to sh if I wanted the short. It would probably need to break that low right there. Um, so if we kind of break below here and then retest the weekly open... You could get short with a stop up there, or um, maybe we come down here and then come up, sweep that high, then you could short around there. Um, so those are two short scenarios I'm watching. <laughs> Man, that highlighter is funny. Um, those are two short scenarios I'm watching. Not sure if we'll get them, and I'm not sure if I'll be around or on my computer to take them, but... I mean, right now we're just stuck in this range, so we might as well just keep playing the range while while we have it. Um, and then same thing, like if we come back to the range low, then we can be looking for a sweep of the low or just come down here, even if we trade under there for a while, reclaim of that. We'll see what happens. Our uh, Monday's range this week is pretty huge, I believe. Let's see, today is the... 22nd well now in crypto it's the 23rd so Tuesday Monday get out of here Monday's range that's a pretty big range um yeah so a sweep of Monday's high and also this high stupid magnet would be a pretty solid short opportunity I mean that is something I would uh typically take Maybe it's right into this resistance right here. Make that black. Um, something like that. So that's probably one of the main scenarios I'm watching. It's hard to set up a long idea right up here because we are um, definitely at the range high. I'm going to delete this. Maybe I'll just leave... Leave one line here. Monday's high. Weekly open. Let's make that a little thinner. Okay. Um, long scenarios. What would it take for me to get long? Right now, I think it'd probably take a pullback to high 22s. Um, I had this level marked out. Took it off to keep the chart a little cleaner. Um, but I think a dip into there would be a nice long. I bet that lines up pretty well with... Uh, OTE. Well, it kind of depends what leg you're looking at. 
If we're looking at this leg specifically, then yeah, that's pretty textbook. But if you take this wick, not quite. Um, <clears throat> but I would look for something into there. So maybe we get something like this, start bouncing, take out the low, bang, form another lower time frame breaker right there and move up. Um, so that would be a long scenario I'm watching. Um, otherwise, if we just lose that level entirely, then we'd be watching uh, the bottom of that wick there. So quite a few scenarios right now. Like I am fully out of that long from earlier. You kind of got to take profit when you're here around the range high. Um, and well, I guess the other long scenario, the one last long scenario I talk about is if we can establish above this line, then I think you, I think you long that to 25k. Um, we've poked around the top of this range four times now. I doubt it holds for much longer. Um, and honestly, might get stopped out once. I got stopped out. I think it was here longing it. Uh, to me, it looked like it was a reclaim. Going to get some expansion. Had my stop around there. Got stopped out. Um, it is what it is. But if we get back above here and it doesn't look like a sweep, like we're not getting instantly rejected and then back below 23.8, then you could just look for a continuation long to... Uh, to 25k or whatever the next uh, resistance we find. Um, so that's pretty much the plan for Bitcoin for Ethereum. So we can start with the four hour monthly opens here. Had some nice demand here that we dipped right into. Um, three, like a tripled sweep, whatever you want to call it, um, right into that demand. Came up, formed this little breaker here. I was looking to get some bids filled there, and we barely front ran it, testing the uh, monthly open. Um, I don't have limits in right now, but that's still a scenario I'd be interested in, something like that. And if I don't leave bids in overnight, like I might set an alarm or something, but if we come down here and then reclaim the monthly open, you could get in on that with an even tighter stop, maybe even the higher low. Um, so th this is definitely closer to an area of interest um, than Bitcoin is, unless it reclaims that range high. So I'm still looking for something like this. Ethereum has just been so dang weak. Um, yeah, like I saw people getting a little excited about this pump here, and I was like, I'm not going to have any false hope until we break above break above blue and I'm still kind of holding to that. I think it's a daily, not a 12 hour. Um, so a reclaim of that level, I'd be bullish, but this honestly just looks like it wants to bleed lower. Cause now let's see, that's a pretty, I guess it would be like this high right there. Last high. I guess either of those really work. Doesn't make too much of a difference. Make that a little thicker. So that's some super obvious daily support that we have. And I mean, if we drag that out further, let's see if that lines up with anything else. Um, some so it had some pretty clean interactions. Um, but now we've tested this level three times without getting much of a bounce. I mean. Okay, here we got an awesome pump, and that's when everyone was getting excited, but myself included, because that, that's a major pump. But now it's honestly looking like we are uh, destined to go a little lower. Let me hide these. They're getting kind of annoying, um, which is a bummer. Like Part of me just thinks I might not trade ETH until, we, uh, until it's looking a little better. I guess this would be – let's see if there's any good monthly – so I guess if this is our daily SR, um, yeah, so this video is a little different than uh, what I usually do. We're kind of marking up some charts live. You guys can see how I do some top-down analysis. I um, don't want that too thick. I kind of like when it uh, looks a little cleaner. So that's some monthly support right there. 
Um, zooming in, that lines up pretty well. A little bit of weekly demand there, but these are probably the key levels that I would keep an eye on. So um, this daily SR we've tested like three times. If we can stay above it, which I'm not too confident in, I mean, right now it doesn't look horrible. Like if you think about it, we put in this low, we swept it, we broke structure, and now we're retracing. So if it can hold right here, then I think we can definitely see some upside. But I'm just not too confident in that, especially after it's been tested like four times here and then a few other times way back when here. Um, so I guess what I – like it kind of just depends how you want to play it. You could – take along here hoping that it would bounce but I'm just not interested in that until we get some more confirmation and either that's going to be getting above blue or if we don't get above blue it's going to be going down to here whatever happens and then once we get back above this daily SR you can long and then back above here will be some extra confirmation i just want to start seeing some bullish structure so each of these support levels that we lose a reclaim of them would be a long because that means like let's see where we come down here clear sorry this is getting ugly i'm not using a mouse right now just a trackpad but super ugly downward structure but that means if we get back above that daily sr we broke this structure and we are bullish now same thing here like we're in this right now if we break out from here it's the exact same thing so any support that we regain i will get bullish at that point but until then um i just don't love it um ethereum or sorry litecoin i think i was using a different litecoin chart let's just uh let's clean this up and just uh Look what we got here. Maybe I should use Coinbase one. Here we got some good levels. Um, so 92 killer level. I traded this low time frame flip of that. Um, we might get a, another retest of that, but I'm not counting on it quite yet. Let's get our Monday's range on there which is also like just really wide once again. But nice sweep of the lows. That was the opportunity to long so far this week. Get above the mid-range, push up. Uh, kind of the same. Oh, no. How do I get out of this? Kind of the same uh, thing going on here as with... What is happening? Kind of the same thing going on here for the 12th time um, as Ethereum, if you guys, what? I don't know what's going on, you guys. Now I'm not even on the right chart. Okay, I'm going to stop going back and forth. So, nice hourly level here. Pretty textbook breaker, sweep the low, get above it. We had this low right here. There are probably some stops below that. Um, if people saw the SR flip of this, like this was some clear resistance, even way back to here. I guess it's this level, like that. So resistance, 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 broke through, support right here, resistance, we flipped it. So if you were long in that or... You see this candle here, right? Okay, that looks stupid. Um, you're looking along that SR flip. This candle pumps through, closes above. You got this sweep. You're like, okay, this is bullish. I'm going long. You long there. Stop loss here. I could totally see something like this. Excuse me. And then push back up. So that's a good scenario I'm looking for on Litecoin. That absolutely is right in OTE whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's just a little extra confluence. Let's see where our opens are. Weekly open is right here. So again, 
weekly open acting as some nice resistance. I need to change my template so those are automatically thinner. Monthly open, it's kind of too far away for me to worry about right now. So, pretty much the same plan as the other guys. You know, like if we get back above here and then there, we're looking for longs for some new local highs. Sweep into here, looking for longs. Um, sweep Monday's high and then lose the weekly open. We're looking for shorts. So, yeah, I know that's a lot of scenarios, but it's not like all of them can trigger at the same time. Um, the only way you could kind of get trapped is if we get above here, you think it's established some support, you go long, and then it rolls over. You could flip short, stop above there, or you could wait for it to lose the weekly open as some extra confluence, and then go short right here, keep that same stop. Um, but other than that, these scenarios are far enough away from each other where I don't think you can like get mixed up and accidentally, or I don't know, I don't know what happens, but those are scenarios I'm watching for. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You know, it, it's pretty similar dips into some clear supports would be longs on all three of those. I'll probably wait and see which looks the cleanest. If Bitcoin does pull back all the way to there, I think Ethereum goes more towards the bottom side of this level. Um, so I'm not leaving limits. Like I said, I think waiting for a little more confirmation like this would be absolutely fine. Stop at whatever low we make after we get back above the monthly open or Monday's mid-range, right? If we're like right here, I wouldn't put my stop there because it could easily come back down and then go up. If you're longing it here, I would put my stop down there. If you're longing it post-dip, once we reclaim some previous support as, or sorry, previous resistance as support, then I would long with a stop at whatever the low is. Um, because at that point, I wouldn't want it to come here, put my stop here, and then dump back down like I... That would be a bit too messy for me. The setup would be a stop at the low. If you get stopped out, you move on to the next and see what we got going on. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for these guys. Kept it under 20 minutes. Those are the main setups I'm looking for. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, message me on Twitter. Or, I mean, messaging me on Twitter is probably a little easier than the YouTube comments. Easier for me to respond because I'll uh, see it on my phone. So um, that's it. hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm planning to do more of these. I'm still waiting for some computer parts to arrive, and then we'll get uh, get some streams going, maybe throw on the webcam, get a real good mic. We'll have some fun with it. Um, but, yeah, that's it for now. I will talk to you guys soon.